my name is Kim and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make a tofu curry with uh, taro roots. So if you don't know what taro root is, this is what it looks like. And if you are a vegan and you have never had this, I'm telling you, you're missing out. It's the most delicious root that I've had um, compared to sweet potatoes and any type of potato. But this has, uh, it's not only tastes good, but it has, um, it's very rich in fiber and has lots of nutrients. So it's really good for you as well as it tastes good. So of course you're gonna need tofu. You can certainly fry your own tofu, but I bought this at the Vietnamese deli um, uh, store, um, the Vietnamese grocery store, there's a deli section that I can get the pre-fried uh, tofu. Um, if you don't have a Vietnamese grocery store near you, you can certainly buy the tofu that comes in a water package, dry it up and deep fry it yourself. Then of course you're going to need coconut, one shallot, four of these guys with just the garlic, I love garlic and uh, lemongrass of course uh, every almost all of my recipe now has shallots garlic and lemongrass because i just love the combination of that for this curry seasoning i'm using this right here it's the red um, thai curry and i'm also going to add a little bit of this this is the vietnamese gari um, which is the the vietnamese curry and um, palm sugar uh, palm sugar it comes in a one of these guys so I'm just gonna slice it up really uh, good so the first step is that I'm gonna work with the the taro I'm gonna chop this up in the same size cube as the tofu I'll uh, get the garlic I'll mince the garlic and the shallots also a little bit of ginger I put a little bit of uh, ginger into my curry um, so I'm gonna get uh, that going and then if you have not worked with taro before it can be a little bit difficult to work with um, the skin is really tough so I just create a flat surface at the end here and I'm gonna slice the, the skin off but it can be really difficult but I like these um, there's several uh, type of taro I like this larger kind uh, better it's um, it's easier even though it looks difficult but I think it's easier to work with um, and I bought half of a taro because I don't need the full one it, it can be quite big so I'm just gonna slice this part that's been open so take that part out put that in the trash get that out take out all the bad parts I don't like this part it looks kind of bad yeah so just get the good part uh, that's left so I'm just gonna slice it up into cube here so this is the size that I want a week ago so uh, only have like a seven days um, only lasts about seven days in your fridge and I'm right at the seventh out, uh, day so all right so I'm gonna go ahead and um, okay so I'm gonna go ahead and stir up the, uh, the taro and the onions and get that going first. I should get a chopstick, huh? Or what are these on here? So, and I'm gonna go ahead and cook it in. Once I saute that up, get it seasoned, I'll transfer it into this guy here, the clay pot, to cook the, the curry. Want a little bit of garlic. Save that for the tofu, save the rest for the tofu. A little bit of the shallots also. Get this stir fry. So what I have 
in here is the taro and the large chunks of onions in addition to the two items that I just showed you that I put in. So I'm just going to lightly toss this around and I want to season it with the Vietnamese curry powder, the taro. The rest of the, the curry uh, powder, we'll put that in um, with the tofu. But all of them will go into this pot right here. So I'm just going to lightly brown it or just saute it up. Get it to be seasoned. Let me get my salt and pepper. I'm going to use my finger. My hands are clean. I just wash them. I think. Get this all mixed up, it's turning into this color, um, yellow-ish, that's the color that I like it. So I'm going to transfer it into this clay pot, oops, got it all over the, uh, the stove top, oh well, just picked it up and put it right back in. And then I'm just going to turn um, the heat on in the clay pot and Pour a little bit of the liquid in there. This is what I'm using. I'm adding a bunch of oil in the, the same wok that I'm using. I'm going to add in the rest of the shallot. Um, I have a little bit of ginger in there. The ginger, I'm going to leave it like that and not mince it because I'm going to fish it out after I cook with it. And then I'm going to add in my uh, mint, um, the store-bought lemongrass. With any type of curry, you need lemongrass in there. So that's about two tablespoons-ish. And still have some curry left over from the, uh, the carol, so I'm just scraping that off. Still very good stuff. And then I want to add in the red curry seasoning and get that working here. Squeeze every inch of that out. Let's saute this up. Smells really good. Oh. Oh my god. Red curry, shallots, and lemongrass. What else can you ask for? I want my coconut. mix up together so I'm just going to add in my tofu. Get this tofu all mixed together. of the coconut juice, or coconut milk, coconut milk, coconut cream, whatever that you have in your pantry is fine. Get that to cook up right here. Add in my uh, palm sugar that I shaved earlier. That's about one case, tablespoon of the uh, palm sugar. You need a little bit sweet when you're cooking with um, curry. So in this pot, I have salt and sugar as the salty part. And the seasoning has the uh, saltiness to it. So I'm just adding in the sweet part, which is the, the palm sugar. So your broth 
or the curry should be rich, should be kind of thick like this. Not quite sure if you see it, but this is what, and you want to taste it as you go um, and make sure that you like it and um, if it tastes right to you. If not, you can certainly adjust it, but I'm going to taste it real quick. Gonna add a little bit more salt and pepper. Okay. So I'm just gonna let this hang out, and then once the the taro is cooked or somewhat cookish, I'll um, transfer this over into um, with the uh, taro and just let it. A simmer for another 10 minutes or so. So, and then I'll show you um, how to plate this up. There's several ways that you can serve this. Um, the traditional Vietnamese uh, curry, we sure serve it with a baguette or um, rice noodle. So um, I have uh, rice. Um, the rice cooker is, is cooking. So. My son, he likes rice, so I'll serve him with uh, the curry over uh, rice. But for me, um, with this tofu, uh, what I'm gonna do is slice it up um, and um, roll it into, um, you got it, rice paper. That's, that's, that's my signature uh, dish now. With every meal that I cook, I'm gonna find a way to roll it into uh, rice paper because I am the, the rice paper lady. Um, so I'll show you how to do that in a little bit when this is all coming together and you can garnish it with any type of herbs that you have. I have um, um, Thai basil in my fridge so I'm going to be using that um, and I also have a avocado and a cucumber that I'm going to slice up and roll it into my um, my rice paper, but I'm gonna use that as also a salad to, to serve it up for Matthew as well. So we'll be back with you. Okay, so my uh, tofu curry is done. I'm really excited about this with taro curry, tofu with taro. So I'm gonna take out uh, two slices of the tofu a couple of these guys here. I'm going to take one of the taro. Taro um, has a lot of starch in there, so I'm just going to allow myself to have one. It's really should be cooked by now. Yep, it is. So what I'm going to do is just make a sauce out of it and mash it like a mashed potato. And then I'm going to make just kind of like a dipping sauce for my, um, my spring roll or my uh, rice paper roll. So I'm going to get some sauce in here. This is going to be my dipping sauce. And for the taro, uh, for the tofu, I want some liquid on there. So what I'm going to do is, let me go ahead and moist, wet the rice paper. So with the rice paper, you want to uh, wet it really quick. Don't soak it in the water for too long. And then uh, with the tofu, I'm just going to cut it up good. I have my window open and we're working on our yard so sorry for the noise. Hopefully you can hear me. So with the tofu what I did was I just slice it up so I can work with it and um, get all the juices on there, all the sauce and then lick my finger because this is mine so um, I'm gonna use avocado and mango to roll in my rice paper wrap. So I'm just gonna slice this up. Probably gonna cube this like I have my uh, mango there. So, you know what? I'm gonna leave it as slices. So this is a little bit big, so a little bit thinner. Love avocado. And then I have mango. Mango go really well with curry. And then I'm just gonna add in my tofu. Slices of tofu that I have here. Sorry about that noise. Probably 
one more slice. And then I have um, these guys here as garnish um, by basil. So put that on top. And I have at the bottom is just um, a lettuce, just to hold it as a boat and get everything tucked in there and roll it up. So I'm going to use the curry uh, sauce from the, uh, the tofu and the taro and I smash up the taro just to make the sauce a little bit thicker. Hopefully you can see it. We taste. Mm. Taro is so good. I love um, that it's cook in this clay pot. It's kind of like a slow cooker, but I only simmer this for 20 minutes. And this is such a good investment. It's only $19.99. I bought it at the, the Asian grocery store. Um, so if you don't have one, you can certainly cook it on a regular pan, stove top of any pan, but I think it's so much better. It tastes so much better somehow with the, the clay pot. So here we go. Let's see how this tastes. Excited. Mm. The mango is really good. I think it goes really well with the curry. And the avocado just add that buttery taste to the overall. And the Thai basil, I can taste that as well. So, so good. So try this. It's a must try if you're a vegan. I did not use any meat, any fish sauce, or anything like that. It's just the taro root. Make sure that you buy the larger taro root and not the smaller one. The smaller one tend to be slippery and it's really hard um, to cook in a um, in a pot like this. I think the smaller one are made, um, I think for dessert. Um, I don't know. I've never used the smaller one. I've always used the bigger root um, to cook with uh, curry and it turns out really good. So highly recommend taro with curry and tofu. So here we go. Um, I'm going to use the, uh, the rest of the avocado and mango and make a salad for the rest of the family and I'll serve that up with rice. But for me, this is how I eat my tofu um, curry and taro, I smash it up, made it into a sauce with the curry, and dip it. So, so good. Trust me, you have to try this. Let me know. Let me know if, um, if you like this. Mm. Mango. So, so good. Even better. Oh, are we still rolling? Whoops. Sorry. So, so good. This is my second or third one. Losing track. 